Question. What do fairies, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, who created Sherlock Holmes, and fairies all have in common? Hey everyone, welcome to our Saturday edition of Breakfast at Tracy's. We are so pleased you have joined us today as we finish up this week's glimpse at what the Bible has to say about the consequences of lies. In 1917, 16-year-old Elsie Wright and her 9-year-old cousin Frances Griffiths lived in the village of Cottingley in Yorkshire, England. These girls used paper cutouts and hat pins to create a scene made to look like live fairies. They took pictures of these scenes, and while Elsie's dad knew the photos were fake, his wife was a true believer and in 1919 took the prince to the Theosophical Society in Bradford where they were delivering a lecture on fairy life. Imagine that, a lecture on fairy life. The pictures of the fairies created quite a stir. I mean, photos don't lie, you know. Even the author of Sherlock Holmes, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, was convinced that fairies were real because of these pictures. There was even a point, a dot, on one of the fairies in the picture made by one of the hat pins that he concluded was a navel, leading to a large debate about birth in the fairy realm. Imagine! The picture, Alice and the Fairies, which shows Francis surrounded by four fairies sold for £15,000 recently, even after the tricksters admitted in the 80s that they were hoaxes. It was the use of photographs that gave the hoax merit. People were unaware that photographs can be doctored, manipulated, to make fiction look like reality. Besides, just like today, those who were quickest to believe were those who already had a suspicion that fairies existed. The same issue was found in the Old Testament. Remember Jeremiah from yesterday? Well, he wrote a book of sorrow, a book of grief called Lamentations, after his home country was ransacked by the Babylonians. Watch what he writes about the prophets. Your prophets have said so many foolish things, false to the core. They did not save you from exile by pointing out your sins. Instead, they painted false pictures, filling you with false hope. Prophets were often believed because prophets don't lie, just like photos aren't supposed to lie. Photos give a picture of reality and, and people thought, so do the prophets. But the prophets in Jeremiah's day were lying, telling people their sin wasn't so bad, telling them that no harm would come to them, painting a false portrait. For years, the results of these lies was false hope. Many people had false hope that fairies existed in 1919, even fooling the brilliant author Doyle. But they were just false pictures. Just like the false pictures that Jeremiah writes about. Today, lies are giving people false hope as well. False hope that if they just live a good life, they'll go to heaven. False hope that all religions lead to God. False hope that their sins are not so bad and they won't face judgment. False hope that if they just pray a magic prayer using the right words, that all will be well. False hope that if they just have enough faith, God will give them anything they want. The results of lies are disastrous, as we have seen this week. Distance from God, divisions between people, stumbling into sin, despair, making God an enemy, and now living with false hope on an island of fantasy and illusion. Many in our world today are living with false hope, which is why believers need to tell the truth about God's plan to rescue humankind to people who think they've already heard all they need to know. Let's pray. Our Father, Help us to speak the truth to all who are living with false hope today, just as they did in Jeremiah's day. 
Help us to know the truth of the gospel ourselves, live the truth of the gospel ourselves, and bring that truth to a world desperate to be awakened from their false hope, their fantasies. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. It has been a pleasure to be with you this week once again at breakfast. I am so grateful for all those of you who regularly tune in. And thank you for all your comments and questions and just sharing these around with all your friends. We so appreciate it. We look forward to seeing you again on Monday as we continue on in our series, Truth Be Told. Take care, everyone.